Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 108 and today we are going to look at the val function which comes under the general attributes. So before we begin with the code I am assuming that you might be having a jQuery file with you into your project. You also are having the reference of this into your head section and you have also written some basic JavaScript code in order to execute our jQuery instructions. Alright, so now uh, before using while, let's have a look at the markup. So basically all I have is first h2 tag, three paragraph tags, one, I'm sorry, three paragraph tags, one text box and two buttons. So basically we are looking at while function. So what while function does, it helps you to get an, the set value of a given element. So over here my focus is this text box. So whatever value I'm having here, when I click on this button, all right, it tells me what value I have in here. This is my result box. So if I click here, so I can see this was inside my text box, it is right here. If I go here and I type red queen or something like that, so same thing gets updated. So you understand we are using the get. The same thing I can do using the set. So it will update the value here. So it is telling me the set is complete now and I have updated the text box with testing. Now I want you to run the get. And again, when I do the get, I'm gonna get the same. So now let's see how we can do that in jQuery. In jQuery, uh, like I explained, there is one text box and there are two buttons. One is for get and one is for set. Uh, the ID of text box is txt test and button has the get and set ID, all right? So, <clears throat> This is the click for get and this is the click for set. So I'm instructing jQuery, hey, jQuery, if anybody clicks the get button, I want you to find this element, txt test. I mean, uh, the one who has the ID as txt test, the ID, because we are using a pound sign here, and get its value, store it in a variable, and simply print, print into the paragraph who's having a class as red. So you can see I'm having a class red here and a text over here as paragraph one, but we are updating the text here by saying, I found some value in this text box and we are updating right here. So get is pretty simple, right? Same goes with the set. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm targeting an element, again a text box, and I'm setting its value whichever I want. So as a test, I'm, I have kept as testing, and once I do that, it's gonna update you know, uh, it's going to tell me that uh, the value in the text box is updated. Now you run the get. So you're understanding this while method gets and this while method sets. So this is how you use get and set. So once again, let's see in action the set. Oh, by the way, this it was there like that. So now it's updated and let's see again. So you, I hope uh, you understand uh, how to use val, right? Up next, we are gonna look at the property attribute, uh, you know, so I hope to see you there.